Okay, take two. We're all good now. So, uh, sorry, I had an issue with my screen. We're back. So, we're working on David Huxtable's cue or track. It's just like a four-minute um, score. So, he writes for TV and we've got a just stereo stems from him and we're going to mix that up, mix it into 5.1 uh, and give him a track, like a version of it. He could post on Spotify, a stereo version, but um, I'm going to just show you what kind of tips or tricks that we can upscale this into 5.1. Um, again, you'll be only listening in stereo, but you know, you, you'll be able to at least see what I'm getting up to. So we're going to go into full screen. Here we go. All good now. So we are going to get to pro tools. We're going to literally do it from scratch. So I've got the files here. So we're going to go file, create new. Now I've got a template. So, uh, the song is called legend. Uh, let's just leave it at that. We're going to put it on, let's work on, just work on my raid here. Uh, we're going to go under music production. We'll give him his own folder because I think we'll end up doing a couple more of his tracks. Uh, so David Huxtable, we're going to call it Legend and we're going to open up. So my 5.1 stereo uh, template. So it's going to have, it's meant for film. So it's going to have a whole bunch of other stuff, tracks and things. Excuse me. I've got lunch coming up. <clears throat> so this will have all our uh, DX, like our dialogue and effects channels and all that sort of stuff. So you know what we're going to do? We're just going to even get, just scrap it all. We're going to scrap everything up to our music tracks. I'm going to delete all that. We're going to just hide, make it active and hide all our VCAs for now because, to be honest, we might make some new VCAs. Same with all our other channels. There's no point having them. We've got 5.1 MX. We'll have our LFE just in case we want to send some stuff. We're going to have our MX stereo we don't need m and &E. and then we're going to have two versions now uh, we'll get rid of our web version so let's just hide to make that inactive so now we have our front and back reverb uh, we've got an up mix if we want to use that and then we have our master channels so we will go and we will file add audio he may have worked on this in five point I uh, have 44.1 kilohertz, but we'll upscale it. It'll be fine. Uh, date modified. Here we go. So we've got legend stems and there's also a full mix. So we'll listen to the whole thing as well. So he did work in 5.1, did he? Uh, four, oh no. Uh, it says it's 48. Oh, it isn't. Okay. It didn't copy them. Remove all. Let's go. Select all. Convert all. Why are we converting them? No, it's not converting. It'll just copy them across. Oh, the sorry, the stereo mix is may have been bounced at 44.1k. That's all right. So let's import these. Welcome whoever's watching. Say good day. Tell us who you are, why you're here, what you do. Always here for the interactions. That's why I don't just stream or make videos for YouTube. I like the idea of the interaction stuff. So chime in anytime uh, okay so we're gonna add new tracks one thing i might try and do hopefully i don't destroy everything i'm going to go change that to hdmi many more mate Welcome back. No, it doesn't it doesn't seem to have fixed it. That's all right. I was hoping that would show you my second monitor, but it didn't work. So let's go back to SDI and we'll just ignore that. Cool. More like evening over here. Yes, that's true. That's true. All right, so we're working on a cue that a mate of mine from an old, well, he used to be in bands with me back in the day. Uh, this is his cue. 
So you said it was at 88. So we're going to pull up our tempo. Normally I work in time code, but because it's music, we're going to go bar, bars and beats. We're going to go 88 because obviously we'll probably add some delays and stuff. See how we go. Let's have a listen to this. Uh, wait a minute. Won't be sending to you. So we want to send that to our 5 1 bus. In fact, let's select all of those and we're going to send them all to the 5 1 bus. So you're going to get a down mixed version while I'm at it. I'm going to add the uh, MX LFE send, um, but let's have a listen. Yeah, let's listen all the way through. So that's interesting. I've got mine clipping there as in it's um, hitting on zero, but you guys haven't got it as hot. Um, I don't know whether I give it a bit of a boost. Um, but anyway, you let's see. That obviously it's like hitting pretty hard, but is that com sounding compressed to you guys? Just gonna go back and have another. It's gonna be a little bit louder, guys. Yeah, cool. All right, so we're gonna smash this one out. So we don't need. We're gonna hide and make it active that track. So we're gonna see what elements we've got. So this will be fully unmixed. So I don't know what it will sound like compared to the original. Um, obviously it's quieter. We might give it all just a bit of a, bit of a boost. We're going to actually rename all the tracks because we've got his name at the start of it, everything. So we can just delete all that next. So it's not as separate as I probably would like for something like this, as in, you know, we've clearly 
We've got it in its food groups, which, you know, depending on the project, that's what you're going to get. Um, probably would have liked a little bit more variety, but that's all good. Yeah, at least we've got separate short and, short and long strings. Uh, I do wonder whether... Let me just double check. Um, uh, wondering whether he sent me a more recent version with MIDI and stuff. That's all good. Just gonna start with some simple things. So I'm gonna boost everything up quite a bit. Let's see. Let's see. We don't want anything to clip, but we wanna back up a little bit. I don't think we're going to run it as hot as his. This is great. I would have liked the low stuff separate to the high. I would have liked the high stuff percussion separate to the low percussion, but that's all right. Well, next time we'll ask him to split things up. Let's go from the top. Let's find, what have we got here? The piano. I do wonder, like, there's a few frequencies that, um, I thought weren't great in the final mix. It doesn't seem to be as much of an issue in the actual stems themselves. The piano, we're going to bring slightly off the front. So you're going to hear, you shouldn't hear much difference really. Might lower your volume just slightly. What I might do, so in our bounce down track, so our down mix track, I'm going to go minus two for the rears. Because to be honest, we don't really want it to, in fact, because this is just... We might need to, so we obviously don't want it to be louder if we go to the rears. So we're just going to drop it back dB and just check. So if you're watching, so there. So there shouldn't be much volume change. What we're going to do is have, uh, so we're going to send, let's just get all our tracks. We're going to send that to our reverb. We'll, we'll have the volume down on all of them though. So we're going to go RX, M, MX Rev 1. Then we're also going to, on all of these, we're going to make a new track. So this is going to be MX because we've got MX Reverb 1 on both these channels, the front and the back, but we want to mix them separately. So we're going to go MX Rev 2, or we could even put, rear doesn't matter let's just go to um and so we're sending it to a bus that's going to be made but then we just don't use that bus so all we've done is now just set up a new input channel so we're going to put our rear reverb is going to be mx uh rev 2 so we want to put a bit of reverb in the front but only a smidge because we've already got reverb on that effect we're going to put a fair bit in the back uh, and I've talked about this in the last stream. 
what we've got here is the front and the rear reverbs. Same reverb, Valhalla reverb. But what we've done is, so in the front, we've got it a slight pre-delay. There's our decay cutoff. On our rear, we've got just over a 20 millisecond delay. We have got a shorter decay so that it finishes back out the front. And then we've also dulled this, we've cut a bit off. So the one thing that you're going to probably get is a, like, we might actually dip this back down to two because you're going to get a lot of reverb from the front. What we'll do is I'll, I'll before we finish, I'll re-listen to this in stereo to make sure we haven't overdone the reverb for the stereo bounce. Um, but it's just good, like, I want you to be able to hear it properly. Um, like I want to mix it as I would here and then I'll make a stereo version to send off to Hux where I'll take out some of those reverbs. In fact, I may even like mute the rear reverb for the bounce to him, you know, to see if there's enough. So we're going to pull these down a little bit. The piano through that section is pretty dull. Like we want it to be warm, but here it's quite bright. So I'm going to put a fade in between the two of these. And all I'm going to do is, so because I've got ultimate, uh, I can go option six and that brings up clip effects. Because what I'll just do is in this clip effect, I'm just going to brighten it up a little bit. We want to keep the warmth of it though, it's quite nice. Okay, so we're just going to go drums, bass, choir, and brass can come down further. We've got sub bass, so we're going to put sub bass here. Let's color those two a color. Let's just get our tracks a little bit more organized. Then we've got guitars, piano, sound effects can go to the back. We've got strings, pads. All the strings can be one color. Pads can be with piano, brass and choir. They can be a lighter shade. And sound effects are fine. Cool, that'll do. This gives us some separation. Really wish you could hear this in surround. It's not not the same listening in stereo.
Let's get a general, like, get a vibe for all our sounds and stuff. So our sub bass here. Let's start from the top. So what do we got here? We've got drums. There's a lot of reverb and stuff on that. Already. We might add it to the rears. Problem is, it's quite compressed too. What we're going to do is just add a bit of uh, go sub harmonic, uh, sub harmonic. We're going to just give it some more body in some of these lower hits. What I might even do, we're going to duplicate this. We're going to get rid of it on that one. What we're going to do is we're going to roll off. We're going to turn the reverb off this one. So this is going to be just the low information. We're going to roll off a whole bunch of the tops. So we can just use any simple plugin to do this. We're just going to, maybe not so harsh, but we're just going to go. We really just want the lowest of the low stuff. So that's without it. We probably don't need it to go too low. We don't want too muffled either, so we just want to find our sweet spot. So you can almost hear the cymbals as well, which we just don't want that. Give me a second. So what we can do now, so we've got drums. If we want to, we could actually just send this to the LFE rather than um, we could do a bit of a ride. So you can't, I don't know if you can hear that. So what we do is in those first hits kind of ride the, the LFE in. We don't really want to be sending it to the speed front of house and the, the LFE though. So we kind of maybe need to make a choice on what's the best thing to do but that's without it you can also probably what I'll use I'll, I'll go Neutron this is good like multi-band as well we're not to be too low rumbly so we're just anything like beyond kind of too full on So we're going to want to use that. So that's, is that the only time there's that sub bass? I don't know. So we've got sub bass all throughout this stuff. Pretty low.
That's not a hit, is it? Where is it? Oh, it's under the sound effects here. That's cool. What we might do is we're going to um, duplicate this and call it base bomb. So we're going to separate this. We're going to call that. We're going to duplicate that and call that bomb. And we are going to. What's the. Oops. What is it? Cool. We'll get rid of that. We're just going to go. We're going to add our sub to that here as well. We might even use, let's try low air. I think low air might work better for us. You get that kind of less toned. Can add a bit of LFE in there, see how we go. Send it to the back. We're just going to roll off any of that low stuff that's kind of, it's meant to be a base, but we've already got a sub base. So we're just going to, so we get rid of the noise. Just going to clean that out. Could even maybe brighten some of this. We'll see how we go. section but very very low i'm not sure how much we're here in that wonder if we can i'm gonna just add um i've got little alter boy i'm just gonna try adding in not working because it's just so low there's nothing there for it to work with
it turned down a little bit, but I'm going to add it into the LFE. You might not feel it, but the one thing I'm going to do though, is so we're going to put in, uh, I'm just going to use a Pro Tools Pro Compressor. Wondering if we, what we could do is send this just to the center. So I'll get it in my center speaker. That might help balance it. So what's happening now? Obviously, if there was dialogue, I wouldn't be doing this. But because it's just a cue, um, you know, we could say it's the end credits or something. So let's just add it as a cue. So we're going sub could be in the middle. It won't sound as big because it won't have the two side speakers to really pump it. But we can use the LFE to do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to use this compressor, but we're going to go, we're going to add in a new track. We're going to call this side chain. We're going to go aux, but we're just going to make it mono. So we're going to have a side chain channel, which we don't actually need the channel. We're going to hide. That. So that. Where's our sub again? There you go. So we're going to make that active. So back to the pro compressor, we're going to send the side chain. Uh, so the other thing that we need to do is make that pre-fade so it'll send doesn't matter if the kicks not on or not it'll still send to it and then we want to select so we're basically just doing a typical side chain so now if we play this the only thing that we also want to do is make sure it's just the low stuff is creeping through so we've now selected just the low stuff so if we listen just to the bass The only problem with that as well is because it's so low, the percussion stuff. Probably don't need to do as much. We're just trying to like, so that the other hits will come through. So we want it to be pretty quick. Not too quick because obviously you can hear it crunching. So you can hear it pump now. So that should then bring this. This stuff's a bit too now boxy. even try um, try doing it for this sound as well problem is the accents of that one is actually in time with the drums and maybe just cut the top off it a bit Let me know if that's too loud for you. That's cool. All right, let's listen to what else we've got. So guitars, I reckon let's bring those off the screen a bit. Just gonna try something.
Just going to try to re-sim it a little bit. Just chug it through another cab. No extra gain. Taking a while to load. A couple of quiet streams. This is no fun. Where's all my peeps at? Where's all my peeps at? Oh, I think I've crashed Pro Tools. Come on, Pro Tools. Love that spin wheel. All right, here we go. So we're going to go, what do we like? Uh, love the citrus stuff. Citrus, there we go. Listen back to the guitars again. What's going on? Oh, that's the only problem. Uh, it only works in mono. So what we're going to do is split into mono. We're going to hide this. Going to add our effects back in. Actually, we'll wait until we've got our guitar amp. So we're going to go citrus again, go clean. That's the one issue is... We do have a dead clean sound. It's even printed reverb, unfortunately, in that, but that's all right. This one sound a little bit less digital. Attack, quick release. I'm not going to pull them off the screen too far. What have we got there? So we're going 31, 30. That'll just give it a bit of width. Bit of space, bit of ambience. sounds mono. Uh, sounds like there's slightly different amps. It's not a bad thing because it's space.
know what it is? Oh, I'm going to get rid of this side chain. I was like, why does it, why does the drum sound mono? It's because I've got that side chain channel. There we go. get rid of that side chain on this channel, but I want that one to come. I like the way that reverb carries out the back. You can't see that, but it's bit of a crunch back there. Just going to roll off a bit. Just going to add um, trusty Neutron, which I like because it's got a multiband. It's a compressor, but it's got dynamic EQ as well. Oh, sorry, it's an EQ, but it's got dynamic EQ as well. So we can go through and just... that brass sample possibly. in the mix it's not as bad though there's a lot of reverb on there as well he's printed a lot of the reverbs next time I'll get it dry it's easier for me Let's see what we can do with this um, Neutron. I want to use the harmonic distortion in this, so the exciter. I'm going to open multiple frequencies and we're going to just. Try something different.
Sounds like that's got brass in it as well. Hmm, interesting. It sounds a bit like... Thanks, Wolf. Uh, sounds a bit like... Might send him a text. That's meant to sound that harsh. Let's reset this and those off. Get rid of all this low. Most things, if they're not low already, just roll them off. Probably not that harsh, but we just don't need that information down there. It all builds up. I assume he's meant to have like this kind of distortion on there. What I might do is I'm going to just add a bit of um, tape saturation on this just to see there's a, what is it? Prima tape, which is just waves. I love just changing the speed and it gets rid of all the high end, like warms it up a bit. I won't make dynamic. Let's just get rid of it.
Look at those strings. The pad. Oh, that's why it comes in. <laughs> oh, that's the intro ones. It's not the right ones. There it is. But we're going to... Let me just double check what the level is. Sorry, I got to talk in the mic. Let's just check what the level is here. Gonna definitely surround us with that. There's lots of reverb on this thing. More at the back than the front. We want it to sit heavier at the back. We're just going to darken off the um, reverb. Obviously, that's good. We've roll, we'll roll off the top a little bit as well. We just don't want it to be too bright. Make sure we've got enough of it as well, though. Reset that. Same again, just roll off stuff we don't need. back the whole lot off a little bit. I'm going to listen to the stereo one with you guys for a bit because uh, I'm going to do some work on the master. Um, obviously, it's fun. I know it sounds awesome in surround sound, but I think for the sake of getting something done for Hux, we're going to play around. Uh, I'm going to listen to it in stereo. So one plugin I friggin love the inflator, it's so good. It's just delicious. It um just brings out extra harmonics and deliciousness. But you got to be careful, you can clip it pretty easy. Bring everything down again. Just don't want to clip the too hard coming in.
just going to group our guitars so we can pull them down together. Oh, whoops. Forgot when you do that, it dips them all down. <laughs> Let's keep these ones back up. there I'm gonna just pull that out just with a bit of dynamic dynamic EQ we'll soon do some fader movements and stuff we just want to get a general get our sound a bit nicer So we're just going to be working in stereo from now. So I'm going to get rid of the back reverb. We're going to probably have to start from scratch on some of those reverbs. Huck said there's like a synth in this string part as well. There's already a fair amount of reverb in that. Oh, sorry guys. We'll have to work that because it, it cuts through a bit. It's harsh, but it cuts through. Yo, 
Enjoy Crunchy As. Love this plugin on my master bus. We are crunching the crap out of that. I'm just going to change this because we're not working in film anymore. We're working more in music. So I'm just going to change this up a little bit. We'll back some of this stuff off because it's pretty fun. We're going to get rid of some of this low end stuff. Actually, that's pretty compressed and crunchy as it is. What plugin is it? Which plugin? Sorry, mate, I missed your comment. Are you talking about this one? That's Slate's. Slate's, uh, what was it? Red something. It's the part of the, it's V, what is it? V. Basically, it's a couple of compressors that are like great for your mix bus. So it's VBC. So there's a grey MU and red, and they just emulate some cool um, sort of bus compressors. Yeah, so this stuff's pretty, or you could hear a cut there. It's pretty crunchy as well, so unfortunately we don't have a lot to play with here. Going pretty hard, aren't we? Probably back off a little bit. This sub right down here, we're not hearing anything too low. So what I'm going to do is just use Neutron. See that? That's getting right down there and we're not hearing any of that anyway. So we're going to go real hard and anything under say like 30 Hertz. In here, our compressor doing its thing there. But I'm going to double that at down because then it's going to even cut it more because we're just like using up information that we down there that we don't need. I'm also going to cut the top off it because this is purely sub, so we just don't want to have any extra uh, information that we don't need. I'm 
also going to, so we, this part is more. The piano obviously goes from being its brightness, grossness. And unfortunately, they're not separate for me. I would have liked those separate. if we need to make that hit bigger at the end there. Some weird effects on that. I don't know what's going on there. Just trying to fix the resonance in there, There's some weird. We want it to be warm, but we want to get rid of some of those resonant frequencies. Scores like this are normally pretty dynamic, but I do want to be too cautious to be too dynamic just because this will be up against like pop tracks and stuff on Spotify. So we want it to be big, but still dynamic. Show you. We're probably too low, I reckon. That's where um, actually Oxford's quite good. Well, I'm wondering whether we um, add some bit of an expander which we could do it with the mouse anyway let's see what it's like with the uh, pro expander here Go upward we just want to be on um, one Drink some water. Hydrate.
just gonna put a compressor on the sub. change that so that's a hard limiter just at the end there we just want to stop it from being too crunchy does that sound all right to you guys uh anyone there say good day uh, let me know is that Obviously, it's getting pretty crunchy at the top anyway, but it's not full distorting for you guys, is it? these plugins onto this channel this is the post down mixing channel because what i'm going to do is get hux's original mix make that active we'll be able to send that straight to you guys let's have a listen to that actually we need to turn this on. Pretty driven. But pretty much, because we've got to think about like Spotify and stuff like that. We just want it to be, uh, we could drive it harder, I guess. Spotify is just going to turn it down anyway.
I'm just going to use the master MX bus, the 5.1 version, to just give the whole start of the song just a bit of a boost. Lose some dynamics. I want to listen to this. Um, sounds like there's a hard cut of something in here. comes in slightly early there. I think it's in the... Oh, it's in the piano. Just going to... Try and cover that up. just neat it'll hit it on the first beat now We're going to ride these uh, short strings. In fact, I might just do it with some clip gain. Let's just check this.
kind of got a growliness about it, doesn't it? Cool, I'm just bouncing around, just playing around with it. We might send it to him and see what he says and come back to it next week or something. I'll mute my mic and you can have a good listen. We're just going to put this in back in touch mode and we're just going to back off that first symbol roll a little bit. What I might also do now, so we're going to ride the low end. So we did that split of the drums, the percussion. We've got like a low, this one. It's um, low air. It's crunch, grungy. It's crunchy. It's delicious. Yeah, so we're going to ride that a bit. Um
wondering whether it's a bit too. Give me a tick. Just checking the reverbs and stuff. Bro. Uh, are you putting this up on Spotify or whatever? Because I'm just wondering like how hard to go with... Sorry, everyone, this is Hux. Uh, Hux music is obviously David Huxtable who composed this track. And it's sick, bro. I love it. It's a really cool cool track. Um, as I said in some text, I would have probably preferred to get some stuff split. So like percussion and stuff, if you can send me, which is actually this is a good thing for the tutorial. If you're a composer out there and you're watching this, you should definitely, when you send it to a mixer, uh, either a re-recording mixer or a music mixer, um, split the drums so I've got lows separate to the highs I've kind of done a fake thing here I don't know how long you've been watching for bro but I've split it um, so I've got some low ballsiness uh, just as much even strings like as much as you can like if you can give me cellos, basses separate to violins and violas and stuff like that anything helps just even because then I can also pan stuff around if I was working. So I started working 5.1. I don't know how long you've been watching for, but I decided to just go back to the stereo because obviously you're going to be putting it up on Spotify or whatever. So um, what did you, because Spotify, excuse me, is minus 16 LUFS. Uh, is there kind of loudness level? What did you make the original, the first track you put up? Because this is already cranking. It's a bit too loud, but I also don't want to be too dynamic all the time as well. So...
go back here for a tick. going to fix um, just a bit crunchy in there. I'm not sure if that's what that is. Uh, I'm just going to declip that just because there's a bit of crunchiness in the start of that chord. Might. Sounds like it actually might be what I've added to it. Let's try the D click. That's better. Ooh. Make sure that comes back in, all right? Oh, Yeah, sweet. Thanks, mate. Appreciate that. Gonna push the brass a little bit more, not that there's much room in it, but just in that last section. Any thoughts, Hux? The only thing that I've done, like the main thing sound-wise, I think um, obviously there's a few things I just cleaned up to make it less harsh or whatever, but mostly I've just tried to make it lower. So you had a very mid-punchy mix, which I kind of like anyway, Like, and I've tried to not lose too much of that, but I've given it a depth like that real low fat rumbliness that you didn't have much of before. Um, also just backed off the master and stuff so it's not as hopefully not as crunchy anyway or not as like compressed and stuff
Also, yeah, you could, I could hear that cut there as well. I think the symbols cut out or something. Symbol roll at the end, so you just need to make sure you clean those up. Yeah, you could hear it there. In fact, I might try and clean it up for you. I'll just do a... Uh, it'll just fade it out a bit earlier. Just keep it neat. Yeah, that sub, that low sub you've got in there, at some points, it's so low, you can't hear it. It's just like, bleh. but it's, it's fat. It's good. Blowing out my speakers. Uh, yeah, all good. I'll send you a version of it tonight so you can have a review and then let me know what changes you want to make to it. Hopefully it's sound good. Nice and dark and warm here, bro. So make sure your tail's longer as well because that cut off a fair bit. That's all right. Sounds good. Liking it. Might bounce this one out and send it to you. Let's just see. Let's do a quick bounce and let's see what the reading is, LUFS. Let's, uh, let's just call it master. Let's call it a date. What is it? Oh, 417. I'll do. Let's bounce it out and have a look. Uh, actually, you'll want it for. Let's bounce it out at sixteen forty-four point one. 
No, actually, uh, what about Spotify and all them? Uh, whoops. Are uh, you still listening, bro? Hux, what do you want it bounced out as? You want 24-bit 48K and you can down-res it, down-mix it? I'll do that. Let's call it that anyway, so you, can, you know. 48K. 48K is better for video anyway. I might send you a 44.1 version you can put on Spotify. Yeah. So I'm bouncing, doing a silent bounce, just to get an idea of the levels. I wonder if I picked the right channel. Minus 24 is pretty low, but it's not a pop track. We've got to remember that too. I might send this to Ben Coe, mate of mine, see what he says. He's got amphions and a sweet pair of ears on him, so... Um, do you want thanks, bras? And you want a sixteen bit forty four one k as well as a twenty four bit forty eight k? Okay, so we're a little quiet. So that means it's good because the song's, it's only got one crescendo. So we might be able to boost the whole thing up a little bit, which is sweet. Just make sure it's not too crunchy at the top. Bit of a click, click in there. I don't know if I've brought that out or it's just in the track, but we're just going to get rid of the, the clicking. We're going to go random sensitivity is fine. It's going to print that. It's better. Best thing to do is you go enter and you put in bounce and keep it as one and go selection here. So now whenever we want to rebounce, we just go dot one dot, enter, oops, dot one dot. And it does it, sorry, we don't have to press enter at the end. And then we can just bounce that again. So we're just going to go rebounce that. Let's see what volume comes out there. Good stuff, guys. Anyone there for a chat? Anyone want to have a chat while we bounce? It says I've got three viewers, but I'm pretty sure there's some lurkers out there. It's just you and me, Hux, and you're working. So what are you writing at the moment? What are you working on? Just 
writing some more sweet tunes for TV. I need a snack. What's the time? We might wrap this up pretty soon. Once we send this off, we've got to send some other files, do some admin, post some videos, make some thumbnails, all the exciting stuff. Good times. Thanks for this, Hux. This has been fun. It's a great track. It's been really fun working on it. Played of Origin. What's that? Okay, so we're a bit hotter now. I could back it off slightly. Let's back it off just a smidgey smidge. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. What happens is Spotify will just drop it down anyway. It's a new MasterChef thing. Oh, uh, it's a new MasterChef MKR thing. Oh, okay, cool. Plates of Origin. That would make more sense. I assumed it was a typo because I read it and I was like, hmm, don't make no sense to me. All right, well, let's bounce these out. Let's send them to Huck so he can listen to his in his studio. And I reckon we'll call it. So I'll do that, send that off. Uh, so thank you once again for joining me. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure having you. Thanks, Hux, for joining. Thanks for giving us this sweet track to work on. I'm sure there'll be more of these in the future. Uh, and Ben Co, I'm calling out to you, mate. I want you to send me some tracks that we can play. And in fact, you should send them. And then when lockdown is no more, you can come over and we'll mix them in the space together. Um, it is a real shame you guys don't get to hear it 5.1 because it was sounding sick. Nice just getting that space. Um, but obviously we're doing it mostly so we can, uh, Hux can put it on a stream uh, on um, Spotify and stuff like that. So that's why we went back to doing most of it in stereo. Uh, but anyway, thanks so much for joining. And uh, you guys on YouTube, thanks for checking the video out. Make sure you subscribe. Send me some comments. And most of all, come and join us on Twitch so we can have conversation. We can learn from each other. But this has been an absolute pleasure. So, yeah, we'll see you guys soon.